Tanja Gunner, aged 40, CDU member, born in Siegmaringen, in Baden-Württemberg, explains why she went into politics. I like to take on responsibility and I want to shape policies. I want to change things, not just accept them, and I think going into politics is the right way to do that. Gunner is considered a sharp and efficient pragmatist. A former track and field athlete, she's also ambitious. And as a lawyer, she learned to patiently study documents. My biggest weakness is probably my impatience. My greatest strength, the fact that I can really get into things and tackle them, and that I have quite a lot of stamina. They're traits that have invited comparison with Angela Merkel. The young conservative from southwestern Germany has another thing in common with the chancellor from eastern Germany. Both try to approach politics unemotionally and objectively. In this respect, Gunnar noticed something about Chancellor Merkel early on. I've learned to live without role models, but the way Chancellor Merkel fulfills her duties is something I like very much because she does it in a very matter-of-fact way. And that's one of the keys to her popularity. But unlike Merkel, Gunnar tries to keep close to the grassroots, starting with the way she speaks. Here in her home state, she uses the regional dialect Swabian. She knows that goes down well. She knows her stuff, she has some charm, and she comes across well. She thinks and speaks quickly. It's great the way she does it. Will she go on to greater things? I can see that happening. She has the determination. So has Merkel made it easier for young women to succeed in the male-dominated world of German politics? It's become more accepted that women can go into politics because someone has shown that a woman can perform very well in Germany's highest office. On the other hand, some say, you women have got what you wanted, so you don't need to make any more demands. As is often the case, there are two sides to the coin. Also unlike Merkel, Gunnar has a traditional West German political career behind her. In the leadership of the Young Conservatives and the CDU, as a member of the Bundestag, and as a politician in her home state. As state environment minister, she sometimes visits local companies, handing out certificates to environmentally friendly businesses. Here too, Gunnar knows what she wants and is quick to take charge. <laughs> Next up is a project that requires patience. It's taken several years to turn this former quarry into an ecological park and plenty of money from the private sector and the state government. Environmental groups back the project and Gunnar is in her element. I've been, uh, Among the Conservatives, I'm certainly the one who shows that being conservative and green, having economic expertise and being environmentally friendly, these things don't have to be a contradiction in terms. On the contrary, they go well together. That's what I want to show. Gunnar would be open to the Conservatives forming a coalition with the Green Party on a national level one day. But for now, the Conservatives' goal is a government with the pro-business Free Democrats after next month's elections. Gunnar is being considered as a possible environment minister. It would be another big career step. But Gunnar's advice for would-be women politicians sounds more like a warning. Work on content, be self-confident, and be aware that in politics, just as in the business world, you can get hurt. But find your own way to deal with that. That doesn't just apply to women. No, it doesn't just apply to women. Still, when the first wounds come along, women often retreat into their shells. I think that women in that context don't have as much self-confidence as men. So in that sense, my advice is aimed at women. Nonetheless, Tanya Gunnar decided on a career in politics. It could lead to a cabinet position in the new federal government after the elections.
She certainly has the ambition to take it on.